today we're actually going to be making our first solar cooker and what's more appropriate to start with than the box solar cooker which you can find at solarcooking.org so for this project we're going to go ahead and get started we're going to need some wire or some other kind of fastener you'll see why in a second you're also going to need some aluminum foil uh, no product endorsement necessary here just showing you that you'll need some aluminum foil You'll also need glue. This is just the glue we had. You could use whatever you wanted, rubber cement or anything like that. You're also going to need a tape measure, and you're going to need a razor blade knife. You're also going to want to use some cardboard uh, that you get. You can get cardboard for free basically anywhere, but you're going to want to use some cardboard that has a side that's twice as long on one side as on the other side. So what I did is I went and got this big piece of cardboard. Um, from the, you can see it's thick cardboard and it's huge. Um, anyway, this is what they use to hold watermelons at the grocery store and they just get rid of it or recycle it later. The other two things you're going to want is some sort of solid surface for folding against and then you're going to want some sort of surface that you can actually cut on. So, we are going to go ahead and get started. So I've got a piece now that's two feet by a little bit longer than four feet. And what I'm going to do is cut a hole out of the middle here so that we can actually use this as the base for putting our solar funnel cooker together. Normally the hole that you cut in the bottom here, you would want to have it be uh, the a diameter of whatever your cooking pot is when it's put together. But since I don't know what my cooking pot is going to be, but I'm just going to cut a smaller sized half circle so that I can actually make this thing form into a funnel. Now, before I put glue on it and put the aluminum foil on it, I want to make creases into the cardboard so that I don't have to try and do that after I put the foil on. So I'm going to go ahead and make creases in the cardboard now, and that's where this board is going to come in super handy for me. So this will probably be easier to bend this uh, if you actually use a thinner cardboard, but if you end up getting this cardboard, just be prepared. It may take some strength to get the thing to sort of bend into the shape you want, but it will end up being in this sort of a shape. And then you're going to lay it back flat, and this is where we're going to put the aluminum on. So rubber cement might work better for you if you decide to use rubber cement, or you can take some Elmer's glue and thin it out. Um, but we just have this glue, so this is what we're going to use. And I'm just going to spread this out all over the cardboard, and then I'm going to lay out the aluminum foil and just do it in one strip at a time and get that laid out and laid flat, and then I'll overlap it with another layer. Then we will have the whole thing pretty much ready to go. overlapping the pieces of aluminum foil by about an inch, an inch and a half, maybe two inches. Um, we're just going to go ahead and wrap up with the rest of the aluminum foil here. Okay, so we've got all of our aluminum on here. The whole thing's covered, as you can see. And what we'll need to do now is uh, go ahead and tie the ends together. So we're going to take this and we're going to fold it in along the creases that we just made so that these ends will actually match up. Then we're going to tie them together and we will have made our solar funnel cooker. Relatively simple, right? We're about 25 minutes into this, maybe not even that, maybe about 20 minutes into this project at this point, and uh, got about five, maybe eight minutes more to go. We're gonna go ahead and let this glue dry, and I will record the rest. You'll see me probably inside uh, doing the rest of this, tying these ends together and then showing you how it works to cook the food. Now if I wanted to, I could hold these together with uh, screws or with bolts, 
you know, put a bolt through and put a washer on the other side and, and hold it with a nut. And I may end up doing that eventually, but for now, just so you can see how this ties together, we are just going to use some everyday common simple wire to hold this together. Alright, well I eventually decided that the wire wasn't working so well because I wasn't getting a wide enough angle inside of the funnel here. And so what I decided to do was go ahead and use a bolt, and you can probably see that right there, to go ahead and hold this together, and I'm going to hold it together with a couple other bolts. I'm just got using some stuff that I've got around the house here. The thing I've learned doing this project is that your creases that you make are super important. I should have made this crease much stronger, the one going to the corner, because that's going to determine just how wide of an angle I get when I'm actually uh, using this in the sun. So once you get the whole thing done, it sits inside of a box. So ours, in this case, is going to sit inside of the box, just like this. And I'll tip it up here so you can see it. But it will just sit inside of the box, just like that. We'll put some rocks inside of the box to weight this down, although with the heavier cardboard, this is pretty heavy. And that's what we'll use to cook our food. This is day one of Solar Cooker Week. Stay tuned because tomorrow we've got another awesome solar cooker coming at you. And then at the end of all of these, when we've got, we're going to make four solar cookers. And when we've got all of them put together, um, we are going to have basically a cook-off. And we're going to compare side by side four different solar cookers cooking the same thing to see which one, number one, tastes the best. We're going to use all the same stuff. We're going to see which one tastes the best, which one cooks the quickest. Uh, any other interesting information we can find out about these different solar cookers. So thank you for joining us. There's a link right below me here. That's where, as soon as we wrap up all of these solar cookers, you'll find out the results of what, it, what happened when we compared the different solar cookers. So we'll see you very soon at greenjoyment.com. And if you're already here, thanks for visiting and come back at the end of the week. We'll have the results of our solar cookers to see which one performed the best. That's a bright sun. So in this case, all I'm going to do is put this underneath wherever I'm cutting so that I don't have to, so that I don't end up cutting a hole through my deck, which, so that we can actually use this as our funnel base for, uh, or for folding our, <laughs> okay, so now before I have Flat, and then I'll overlap it with another layer of aluminum foil and uh, then okay so once you're done with the whole thing once you've got it all put together and we've got ours all put together here uh, what you are going to do is take and put it inside of and uh, making sure that there's a good amount of just so that so pretty darn cool We've got to make sure that the whole thing stays covered. And we're going to fold it in along the creases we just made. The whole thing's covered, as you can see. Wouldn't be very exciting, and or just mark 